it's, we're deeply honored that you would come in and visit with us. You chose a really tremendous presentation tonight, and so thank you for visiting with us. I'm going to hand over to our presenter, Dean Wanda Mendez, and she will begin the presentation for the Office of Career Management. Dean Mendez, the floor is yours. Well, thank you, Dean Foster. Well, welcome to the Office of Career Management. We're very excited to be here, and my team and I are very excited to share with you some of the great things that you're going to learn about Rutgers Business School Office of Career Management. So the big question, who are we, the Office of Career Management? So, next slide. So, our mission is that we are here to prepare our students for a competitive job market and ensure that you represent our brand in the highest standards. The team is composed of three career counselors, myself, Sarah Kasakowski, and Lisa Minieri. Now, to tell you more about the Office of Career Management, you'll find our Senior Director, Mr. James King. Thank you, Wanda. And welcome everybody to our virtual open house about career management here. So the undergraduate Newark Office of Career Management is part of a larger group and organization. I will talk about that. So Rutgers Business School is committed to preparing our students for the opportunities that they will have when they are graduating. So we quickly worked and identified what are the skill sets in addition to your academics that we need to help provide. So as an Office of Career Management, the one thing Rutgers takes, uh, Business School takes pride in is every student in every program has access to our counselors and our systems. And those systems also include job boards where companies come and post their jobs and internships. So as an Office of Career Management, there are two undergraduate offices. This office you're talking to today, Wanda, Sarah, Lisa, who do a fantastic job working with all of the students in our Newark undergraduate program. We uh, have a mirror sister group to that down in New Brunswick that supports and works with the undergraduate programs in New Brunswick at the Rutgers Business School. We have a team dedicated to our MBA program, both full-time and part-time MBAs. And then we have a team who works with all of our specialty master's programs. We have a dozen specialized master's program, anything from a quantitative finance and IT and analytics program to digital marketing and supply chain management. In addition to this, we work closely with many of our corporate partners. So we have an employer relations team and that team is dedicated to working with our corporate partners and Rutgers Business School to help make the connections that you will want and need to get your internships and job opportunities. Our employers will come on campus, they'll come to our career fairs, they hold info sessions, they're even joining us now in our remote model, hosting webinars on how to perform in your virtual interview, how to develop your own personal brand, and even tips on how to improve your LinkedIn profiles. So we work very closely with our uh, many, many employers that come and recruit Rutgers Business School students. In addition to this, we have some support personnel who will help us with our infrastructure, our systems, our processes, our procedures, and just the setup of running a massive career fair that will have 100 companies and five, 600 students come through it. You have dedicated systems. Those systems include a career management system that uh, tracks your counseling, your activities, your internships as a board for jobs, a place to post your resume, your cover letter, and all the rest. We also have an analytics-based resume writing tool that the team launched. It's a unique tool to Rutgers University. It enables you to build and enhance your resume by providing feedback directly to you. It's available 24-7. And then it grades you and gives you tips and tricks on how to actually improve that resume. And the entire team is well versed on how to run that program. So 
We are dedicated. We have over 18 people in our Office of Career Management just for business school students. And we, like I said, we work very closely to work with our companies. We are always looking for new companies to come recruit from Rutgers Business School. And just as an example, Intel comes from Oregon to Rutgers Business School to recruit our students. They see the quality that we, that our students are and the quality that we do in preparing them for those opportunities. So whether it's Intel and De at, in Oregon or Dell in Texas or right in New Brunswick or in Newark, whether it's Johnson & Johnson or hospital, we Video. get companies from around that country and around the world coming to Rutgers Business School to recruit you. So thank you, Wanda, we'll go back to you. Great. Honey, sorry, I'm having some technology issues. So, the, so the Office of Career Management is located, hold on one second, I'm sorry. You wanna pick up for now? Uh, let me just unmute myself. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, you're good. Hey, Harry. Wanda. So, the Hi, Office of name. Career Management for Newark. Um, so, we are referred to as OCM. Um, one thing you'll get to know when you join Rutgers is there's a lot of acronyms. Um, but the one that you definitely want to get to know is OCM. So, that's our nickname, Office of Career Management. We are typically located right in the Rutgers Business School on the third floor. So we actually share a suite with the academic advisors. So we um, have a very good relationship with them as well. Um, so there are three of us, like um, uh, Mr. King said before. So it consists of Dean Mendez, Lisa Minieri, and myself. So we are dedicated specifically to Rutgers Business School new undergraduate students. So everyone on this call, we specifically support you. Um, so we ha have a combination of different um, experiences. So I know, uh, I know she'll go into this, but Dean Mendez has um, comprehensive experience in higher education and corporate. Um, Lisa, she came from corporate as well in campus recruiting. And I have been working in Newark for quite some time. And I've also worked at Rutgers Business School, New Brunswick in career management. So. The three of us um, bring some good knowledge to the table and we look forward to helping you in any way we can. Um, so things that we do, we'll, we'll talk about this as well, but we do professional development. So things like your, your soft skills, resume writing, um, job search, like Mr. King said in the beginning, those are all the things that we are here to support you with. Uh, we of course meet with students um, through one-on-one -on -one appointments. Right now, we've been taking them virtually. They've been working fine um, through WebEx, um, but that's something that we do. Uh, we're here all year round, so uh, we're here to help you anytime you, you need to, if you wanna set up an appointment. Um, and then just to do so, you would email ocm-nwk at business.ruckers.edu. So that is our email, it goes through to all three of us so we can receive it and then we can set up an appointment with you. Um, and then we'll also show this at the end of the presentation. So if you don't get this now, it'll be showed again um, at the very end. So at this time, I will hand it back over to Dee Mendez because I see she's back and running um, and I'll hand it back over to you. Thank you, the inconveniences of having to share your dining room as your as your office. <laughs> so here's the thing. You're going to hear about other, uh, we want you to know that there are other career services. There is a main career services in our main campus called the Career Development Center that's also there to help you. This is the general career services and they get to see all the students from all, all the entire campus. One of the things we wanna make sure you're aware of is that you will have more support than any other uh, school at Rutgers. For example, next slide. You will have the opportunity to have the use 
of one of the job portals called Handshake. Handshake is both. They have Handshake in Newark and Handshake in the Career Exploration Center in New Brunswick. You will also have access to Business Night, which is the job portal and much more available to you for the business school, which is Business Night. We want to make sure that you take advantage of all the resources available to you. Now, you're probably asking, why are we talking about career management so early? It's important that you understand that this is an opportunity for you. You know, the days in which people would look for a job at the end when you graduate, that's over. You have a great opportunity to start creating a profile and getting to know employers as you come in as a freshman and as a transfer. Please know that you will also have all these different tools that will help you navigate the job search process. In addition, we wanna make sure that you're proactive and not reactive. I can't tell you the numerous times that I have students sitting across me talking about looking for a job when it's May. Nobody looks for a job in May. We look for a job early throughout the semester because that is exactly when companies are scouting talent. And we wanna make sure that you are prepared to meet that talent. So this is a great opportunity to start anew and ensure that you take advantage of, of all the wonderful things we have to offer. Now I'll pass it on to Lisa, who will share with you some more information. Thank you, Demendez. Hi, everybody. My name is Lisa Minieri. Um, I, as Sarah and Demendez had mentioned, I'm a career management specialist. I come from the corporate side, so I have a lot of campus recruiting experience as well. So we want to talk about a little bit about how can we actually help you? So we really want to make you a brand. You really want to be a brand for not only while you're in school, but in your future career and your personal life and all aspects of your life. So what we like to do is we help build your image and your brand. That includes um, how you should be dressing, uh, the handshake, your accessories, anything that is like a physical image and branding we assist you with. Then, like we mentioned before, there's VMOC, which uses AI technology to actually review your resume and give you excellent feedback regarding details and to help update you so you have the most competitive updated resume. It gives you different words you can use so they're unique and it really helps you stand out, especially now with everything being so competitive. You really want to take advantage of that as much as possible. And that also includes your cover letter as well. We help you write your cover letter. Cover letters are really essential. Even if a job doesn't require it, we always recommend that you submit a cover letter because you never know who's going to actually read it and it will definitely help you stand out. And then for the interview process, we can help you with your pitch, your intro. We, we host a great session called how to tell your story. It's really about giving, giving your elevator pitch. Like, who are you? What are you all about? What are you looking for? So we help prep you for that. And then we all help. We also help sell your skills and your experience. So not only what's on your resume, we want to be able to make sure that you can present what's on your resume as well. And then once you're on the job, um, we, we like to help you with, uh, you know, being on time, obviously for your interview to be early, to be well prepared, um, really your responsibilities for your job to make sure it's really the right fit for you, um, how you communicate with others during the job, you know, there might be different issues or conflicts or even how to build relationships. Because once you're in the corporate world or outside of school, it's very different than when you're in the classroom. So we help assist you with all those following things. Next slide. So the recruiting cycle. So in the fall, it's very heavy for recruiting for most companies. Um, so we hold career fairs in September at both campuses, so Newark and New Brunswick. We, in addition to that, we have corporate presentations. A lot of employers come on campus. They want to meet with you. They want to network. We have a lot of clubs that, that we have. We have 15 on-site clubs that you could become a part of to help your networking as well. And they also host events with employers. So the fall is a very busy time of year for, um, for both applying and interviewing for your positions that you're interested in for both intern and full-time opportunities. 
So the audience is usually sophomores and juniors, but we are finding now as we, we're progressing, companies are even looking for freshmen as well. So it's definitely advancing as we're moving forward with technology and other resources. In October to November, that's when the interviews usually start. So that's when we would help prep you for your interview. We can not only review your resume, we can hold a mock interview with you as well to run through questions. Um, a lot of companies now are conducting video interviews. We actually have dedicated video interview rooms on the sixth floor in the building just for that solely that purpose. So you don't even have to worry about bringing your own laptop or having a camera or using your phone. We actually have access for you all to use that. A lot of companies are going virtual, especially now with everything going on. So that's when you'll receive some offers in the fall. And then also in the spring, so let's say you don't find something in the fall, we don't want you to get discouraged. There's definitely still opportunities in the springtime as well. We hold career fairs in the spring. We do presentations. The clubs are still very active with bringing employers on campus and vice versa. So it's there's still a lot of opportunity for you to gain employment, um, either internship or full time. So then in April, you would probably receive an offer for the summer. And then usually in May to June is when your position would start, either for a full time opportunity or an internship, which an internship can, of course, vary between um, eight weeks to 12 weeks. It could be on site. It could be a mix of things. So we're, we're really here to help you through the whole process. Even if you've received a couple offers, which we sure you all will, we can help you decide which offer is the best fit for you. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Sarah. All right, so, um, so everyone's been talking about um, how do you meet employers, right? So one thing at the business school is we pride our relationships with our corporate partners that come to campus. Um, so here's just some of the ways that you can engage with employers. So, of course, like we mentioned through the RBS career fairs, um, having access to both Newark and New Brunswick fairs um, at, from the business school um, as a Newark student. You absolutely have access to both um, in addition to the mega fairs that go on from the uh, from the CES, which is the general um, career services for Rutgers um, and there's typically. That's typically a 3 day fair. Um, they have around 200 employers attending. So, um, you have access to that as well. Very, very important to attend these fairs. I get a lot of questions from students. Um, asking, should I even attend a career fair? Um, you know, you just hand them your resume and they just put it in a pile and tell you to apply online. Um, and I could see how someone can think like that, but these recruiters are hired to come to Rutgers to recruit Rutgers talent, right? So that significance of you showing up, presenting yourself, delivering your elevator pitch, that makes a huge difference, right? So if I'm a company and I know that I was on campus at career fairs and I'm receiving this application and I've never met this student before and I know how many times I was on campus, I'm wondering if the student is actually genuinely interested in working here. Right, so they will take a look at your resume. They'll mark it up and put it to the top of the pile. Um, so career fairs are a successful way of navigating the job search. Uh, corporate presentations. So this is something that uh, we host on campus as well. Can also be done virtually, and it's very similar to kind of what we're doing right now. Um, so a company will either come to a classroom or host a um, a virtual webinar and present about what their company is and the programs and positions that they are recruiting for. So those are important to attend as well um, to see if to learn more about companies right that you've never heard of and to learn more about what it is specifically that they are looking for in their positions. Student organizations, I have a list in my next slide of all the different organizations we have. Um, like Lisa said before, very crucial to join student organizations. Um, here in Newark, we value them more than I can even express. Um, they're, uh, they're the bread and butter to the RBS Newark campus. Um, so definitely getting involved in student clubs because they partner with employers too. Um, professional development programs that we offer so we have a combination of uh, in person when that happens and virtual webinars and workshops that we present too. So that'll range from your resume to online interviewing, which is very popular, um, cover letters, uh, 
different strategies for navigating your job, job search and things like that. Um, faculty and classroom activities. Um, this is very important. There is a class called Business Forum, and it is a required class for each undergraduate RBS student to take. And this is a great course because in this class, built in are presentations from companies. So you can expect that you will definitely get exposure in that way. Um, com companies like to come to this class and you know share what they do and give you tips too to uh, market yourself in the best way. Case competitions, um, definitely recommend if you um, haven't been involved in a case competition before to look into that. Um, RBS, we do have um, a handful of case competitions each year, and this is really a good opportunity for students to practice several different skills, um, public speaking, working on a team, uh, analyzing a real business um, problem and coming up with solutions. Um, those are really valuable skills that employers look for. Um, and sometimes you're even presenting your findings to a company, right? And that could, winning these competitions can be sometimes a monetary prize or even a chance at an interview for a position. So these are definitely things um, I suggest you getting involved with. Uh, personally, I was involved in one with my graduate program and it was a really uh, positive experience. Okay, so as promised, here is a list of our RBS undergraduate uh, student organizations. So we have about 15 active clubs right now. I know they're all acronyms, so it's kind of hard to tell what they are, but I promise you, once you start here, you will, be, you will definitely be familiar with them. Um, but they range in different majors, so we have one for everyone. We have supply chain club, we actually have two supply chain clubs. Um, Rutgers Accounting Society, the Student Center for the Public Trust, which is um, more for accounting students, um, Rutgers Finance Society. We have MISA, which is for our MIS major. Um, we have NAVA, which is um, the National Association of Black Accountants, RUWIB. So we have a lot of variety of clubs. Um, you don't have to just choose the one that goes with your major. You are definitely free to explore and um, get involved as much as you can. I like to say that they enhance whatever you go into because they're, you know, one of the things they're going to do is they're going to bring alums, you're going to have chats, you're going to have technical uh, workshops, they're going to give you the opportunity to enhance anything that you're studying. Right, I can't speak more highly of the clubs I really can't. I mean, right now with everything that is going on, um, they've been pushing through and they are still meeting regularly. I still see posts on LinkedIn that they're having different events and, and keeping in contact and keeping their relationships warm. So um, they do a really great job through thick and thin. All right. If you have the chat option, I want you to look at this list and um, Put in a name of a company that you either heard of or you would like to work for. Um, so this is just a, a snapshot of some of the companies that um, work with our students and hire our students. Again, this is just a snapshot. This is not a comprehensive list. Um, but we do have some obviously big names up here. Prudential is a great campus partner, Johnson & Johnson, Bank of America, KPMG, one of the big four accounting firms. Um, as well as the other ones as well, EY, PWC, and Deloitte. Sarah, I just wanted to say um, Panasonic is also one that uh, we, we have. Yeah, so our neighbors um, here in Newark, Panasonic, also very supportive of our RBS students as well. Those are just a few examples of the companies that you can see um, during the, the different opportunities that I went over before. And this is our most up-to-date rankings for POTS and quants. Um, so this is something that we engage with each year as a business school holistically. 
And we're proud to say that the undergraduate Newark students have increased their rankings um, by nine uh, places in the last year. So we can only do this because of the students. Um, there will come a time when you graduate and you, we will be asking you to fill out this employment outcome survey. Um, so this is how we are able to rank in different um, different ranking uh, websites is because the students report their information. So you can see here there is a breakdown of our school data that was also um, submitted to Poets and Quants. And the importance of the rankings really is it helps your brand. So Lisa was talking about before building your brand. And yes, you might think, okay, but when I graduate, how will this help me? And the higher, the more rankings, uh, the better we do in rankings, the better RBS looks on your resume too. And that will be on your resume forever, right? Under your undergraduate education. So it's very important. And companies also look at this list when they are selecting which schools to recruit from. So it's also good um, branding for RBS as well. And Sarah, if I can add to that, I wanna point out that our graduation jobs, employment outcomes was at 84% this last year, which is the highest percentage of all of our undergraduate program, this undergraduate program in the last years, um, which just means that 84% of our graduating students reported back to us that they had a job in the industry and field that they were looking for, which is an amazing achievement if you think about the competitiveness of a school in the area that we're at. And these are students who are taking jobs away from students from Columbia and NYU and many other places. So this is just a terrific achievement here um, for this team and for our academic program. And I do, in I, one of my core jobs is working with employers and I have to say that the rankings that RBS has had, and we our rankings have been growing since Dean Lay took over every year. And those rankings had more and more companies calling us to say, I wanna come and recruit these great students from uh, Rutgers Business School. So you are our mar best marketing, and we look forward to you being part of that when you become graduates and get into the work, work world as well. Absolutely. I think overall what you're seeing here is the amount of dedication that not only RBS puts into the Office of Career Management, but that if you know that comes straight from the top. Our administ the administration, the dean, directors, we have an incredible support. Okay, so some things that you can do to prepare. Um, first and foremost, Buying a full suit, um, that's not something that you wanna put off. Um, there's nothing like scrambling and freaking out the night before an interview or a career fair because you don't have a full suit. Um, so do yourself a favor um, and, and do that before, way before the semester starts. Um, read business related news sources. Um, you definitely wanna stay on top of the trends that are happening right now um, and you can do so in various different ways. Um, there's a lot of apps out there that I know, um, you know, make it really easy for you to stay on top of what's happening in the world. So just make sure you're, you're staying on top of the trends as well. Uh, review the RBS career website resources. So we just went over um, just some of the things that we do for you, um, but we have a lot more services as well. So if you get a chance to go over our RBS website, um, you'll actually get to view um, holistically what we do for the students as well. And then write your resume in RBS template. So we have a specific template that the Rutgers Business School undergraduate students follow. Um, and this was um, made from a group of companies that hire our students and collectively given their feedback that this is a template that works best for them and that is um, you know, the best way to market students. So we do have a template. Um, so for the summertime, we definitely recommend that you prepare your resume in this template. Um, 
because the fall is so busy with recruiting, like Lisa said before too, you wanna to be prepared. So preparing that resume in September is too late because you can be missing out on different opportunities that are starting as soon as we get back to school. Okay, and then here again is our email address. Again, this goes to Demendez, Lisa, and myself. So if you have any questions at all, like I said, we are here all year, so we will help you. Um, just send us an email and we'll definitely get back to you. Again, thank you so much for being, uh, being here today. And we hope that this information will help you decide to come to Rutgers Business School. If there's any questions in the chats or anything that we can address right now, we'll be glad to. Prince, I'm going to unmute you and Ayoko, so feel free to ask questions. Uh, I have one question. Sure. What's your name? Prince. Hey, Prince. Okay, what's the you question? Can, yes. What's the question? So, so I, I was going to the website on applying to Rutgers on a Rutgers application, and he's saying that it's June first the deadline. So is this still time to? Apply? Prince, yes, you um, to accept. We have moved the deadline forward to June first. Um, RBS in Newark applications are done on a rolling basis. So there is still time if you have not applied, you can still apply. And if you've applied and been accepted, you can you still have time to make your decision. Yeah. Um, I also had a question. Sure. Um, to find the RBS template, what where would I go to find the template to use? Say, feel free to send us an email mm -hmm. right, uh, where it says questions. You see the email, that link there? Send us an email, we'll send it to you. Okay, thank you. Are there any additional questions we can help you with? If not, I want to take this time to thank our speakers. And uh, you, you've been amazing and wonderful. And uh, if our students who uh, joined us today have any additional questions, you know, you can always email me at lufoster at business.ruckers.edu. And I'll be happy to forward your inquiries on to Dean Mendes. 